I believe the Cyberpunk expansions will redeem this game when it is all said and done. The narrative for the game has already been changing since the release of the current gen update. With the current gen update, players were able to see the level of ambitiousness CD Projekt Red was able to pull off with this game. But for the people like me that played this game two years ago, we're still waiting for them to add something new for us to play and for them to flesh some more things out. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken. Well, a new major details have just been leaked regarding Cyberpunk's first expansion, revealing mission details, other activities, and more. We also got a new update regarding Witcher 4's production. Before we begin, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video, and if you end up liking it here at my channel, know that I keep you up to date with the latest open world news, as well as video essays where I go deeper into other gaming topics. All the links in the description box below, Thank you, crew. Thanks to data miners, we have known for quite some time where the first expansion will take place, which is Pacifica. Thursday, incomplete files were leaked on Reddit that may confirm the expansion will have seven main missions, as well as a new area being unlocked in Pacifica called the Combat Zone, which was featured in the art book for the game. It's very nice to see Pacifica getting more fleshed out, especially since most of it ain't even traversable. What? Now, I didn't read this because I don't want to get spoiled, but apparently the DLC seems to have some change of dialogue in the game's ending sequence by referencing the new character that is going to be introduced in the expansion named Songbird. The files then seemingly confirm the amount of content that will be added such as fixer quests, world stories, and new world encounters. Yes, more side content, that's what I'm talking about, we need way more of this because my biggest complaint about Cyberpunk when it first dropped was the end game. There wasn't really much to do, and I really hope this expansion has a lot to do, especially since this may be the last expansion we're getting. This news comes from CD Projekt Red's financial Q&A when CEO Adam Kaczynski was asked about future projects using their in-house engine. He said, Cyberpunk expansion is the last project based on the Red engine. Any further product will be on Unreal. I guess because he used expansion singularly, that's why people are assuming we are only getting one. But I still think it's possible to get another one, especially if the first one is received very well. On the other hand, it wouldn't surprise me, especially since The Witcher 4 is moving along and more and more people are going to be moved to work on that game in the future. In March, CD Projekt Red officially announced The Witcher 4. Today, they announced that the team is done with the research phase and the game is now entering pre-production. Chief Financial Officer Piotr Nalibowicz, my Polish is getting nice, boy, <laughs> provided the update saying we have recently wrapped up the research phase, which means the project has now progressed to pre-production and we've begun to capitalize development expenses related to this new game. I would say, we could see this game in 2024, but they still have most of the staff working on the Cyberpunk expansions. But I really do think we can see it maybe 2025 or 2026. I wonder if Bethesda will want a rematch with CD Projekt Red since Elder Scrolls 6 and Witcher 4 may release around the same time. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed if Cyberpunk gets only one expansion, especially since they said it was going to get the same support as The Witcher 3. But when you have a launch like that, things are subject to change all the time. In conclusion, are you disappointed in the news? As always, you already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Peace.